Hey, where are we today, buddy? So today we are at Awesome Diecast to take a look at their facility and see some behind the scenes. All right, let's do it. First thing we're going to check out is some of their cool display items that are not for sale. Okay. I'll meet you over there. They have their own brand, Iconic Replicas, that makes all of these HO scale buses. Man, there's so many of them, it's hard to film them. I bet yeah. they got every single one here. Yeah. Awesome. I think some of these are samples. Check out like these gray ones. I think when they come out with a new model, they make like samples of them first to check out the quality and the details. And I think that anytime you see these gray ones, that's what they are. It's mm -hmm. pretty cool. That's that emergency TV show fire truck. Yeah, it's pretty sick. This is great. Oh, cool. We got the Liberty Lines fishbowl. You know, I like that one. Yeah. Some other O scale buses down below. We got that Eagle 5. All right, let's see what else there is. Here's some of the awesome big rigs, and some of them I've actually seen in real life, like this autism truck. And my favorite one, the BJ and the Bear. Oh, yeah. Oh, look, they got two sizes. Wow, the rules are going Smokey and the Bandit. That's awesome. Let's see. Oh, they sure do. And what's above Smokey and the Bandit? And Duel. Wow. A couple Corgi fish bowls. I think yeah. this is another example of like a pre-production bus. So that's like a sample yeah. before they make it. These are old time. You need to know about these. That's the twin coach on top. Probably a Fajol engine in front on the bottom. Ooh, hiding back there. Don't think I didn't see that. Little Adirondack Trailways. That's the upstate New York Trailways. You don't know that I rode those to college. Wow. Oh, wow, they've got the Disney trolley. Sure do. That's pretty cool. Parking lot people mover. Wow, a couple Greyhound big rigs. You know, the bus fans want to see that. That's amazing. Yeah. Wow, is that like a mail Jeep up there? Um, pretty cool. It sure is. Old time mail truck. And just lots of awesome big rigs. Got horseless carriage. That's the classic car transporters. Oh, look, they got the Greyhound up top. Pretty cool. Yeah, well, it's smart because a bus collector and a truck collector will both be interested in that. Yeah. You got the original Ice Road Truckers, Carlisle. You were down with that show from the beginning. Man, ha <laughs> Publix in the house for you Florida folks. Wow, all right, this is overwhelming. Let's see what else is going on. These are some of the old Matchbox cars that actually came in a Matchbox. Yeah, he's got the scenic cruiser, of course. Yeah, it's awesome. Wow, Jay, the giant car carrier. It's gotta be one of my favorite models. Come next to it, show everyone how big that is. My hand, with the, the wow. door is like the size of my and finger. And if that's not enough, look next to it, dude. <laughs> Man. It's insanity. My hand is not even the size of the trailer. Amazing. It's crazy. Amazing. <laughs> you got the monkey on top, that's awesome. Well, a couple here that caught my eye. Oh boy, that modern toys fishbowl. Look at that, that's so hard to find. With good windows, no dents in the roof. Super nice. And also the elusive Dinky Wayne school bus. And the Continental Tours. Man, look at the paint on that thing. That thing's perfect. 
There's stuff here I like too, dude. Yeah. All right, let's see what's in the back. All right. Wow. John Wayne, that's awesome. Oh, boy. Yeah, let's take a lap first, and then we'll figure out what we want to shoot. Oh, man, I see a wall full of Hot Wheels back Toyota there. Toyota Supra, that's sick. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. That's amazing. What's up, buddy? You might not be ready for this. What's this? Found rows Whoa. of buses. Okay. Okay, let's slow down. See what's going on here. We got the new New York bus. So those are the DC Transit, the Brill. That's relatively new. It's pretty we got nice. the Proterra. You know, I'm not really a bus guy, but these are pretty nice. You remember where yellow with the T is from? We had a lesson about that. Oh, that's... Um... New York Transit? You're close. It's Boston. Oh. Wow. They got the combo. See this bus where the windows only go halfway? Mm hmm So they put people in the front, and you put packages in the back. It's like Package Express. That's why they wow. call it a combo. Combination of people and things. Oh, boy. What else do we got? We got the Trailways MCIs. Love that. Got the blanks. In case you want to hook up your own. Oh man, they got the new stuff up here too. They got the Peter Pans. What does MCI stand for? Motor Coach Industries. That's a good question, kiddo. Hmm, got the flexible you. New York City joint. I love that. Yeah. Three stars of gold. A little translation for you. Wow. Uh, I think that's TTC. Is that Toronto? I believe so. If you come over here now. I'm coming. Awesome buses. Wow, different scales too. They got the new flyer blank blank ones wow. for hooking up. General Motors, uh, TDH. I think that's Chicago. I'm coming, tell me. That LA Metro is pretty cool. 1948, they General Motors. Los Angeles throwback. Hold on, I'm coming, Bubba. There's so much here. Show me, kiddo. These two. Yep. So that's the New York City Omnibus, which I think, if you're old school, is the bus company Ralph Cramden, a.k.a. Jackie Gleason, drove for in the Honeymooners. I think that's Montreal in the gold. Pretty sick. Continental yeah. Trailways. Man. Awesome. Let's wrap around the other aisle. I think I see more buses hiding. <laughs> you are not ready. Wow. Dad, you need to check out the stuff on the wall. Oh, boy. So that is an actual Silver Eagle emblem from a Trailways Eagle. Man, yeah. that's super hard to find. But look at what's on the shelves. Got some nice photos. The shelves oh, boy. Are even crazier. Yep, so we got more HO scale buses. I remember what he said. Iconic Replicas is their company, so these are the ones that, that they actually made. That's a couple local buses, right? We're here in Boca yep. Raton, Florida. That's the Miami articulated bus. Oh, and I'll bore you with all kinds of details, son. That Metro Eagle is from uh, Houston. Wow. You got the OmniLink, cool. You got the Classic, the MCI Classic, because those were new buses that still kind of looked old. Still kind of had some of them fishbowl jeans in them. With the middle door, there's the bus you never want to go for a ride in. Popo. <laughs> what else we got? We got some New York City RTS. Some of the last real buses to run in New York. According to some. Nice. Those Arrow Eagles were very, very beautiful. Back in the day, they stood out. That was rare back in the old days to have paint over the silver sides. Not a lot of people did that. Oh boy, another local winner, right? Those yeah. Disney buses. Disney Transport Articulated Coaches. Yeah. What Lord. Is, like what's what? You always use the term fishbowl. What does yep. that mean? Is like is that like the the go the the, the yep. uh, So here we go. So fishbowl is cuz the windows cuz the buses had like maximum visibility so the drivers could see all in every angle and they had those glass windows that kind of bulged out like on this bus. And so the enthusiasts, people who like buses just gave them that nickname, the fishbowl. Oh, okay. There's the Broward County Cruiser. 
the Express Lane Cruiser on I-95. Another local winner. They're smart to make Florida buses. Blank RTS, if you want to hook up your own. Wow, Short Lines, one of my dad's favorite companies for sure. Wow. Shout out to Mawa, New Jersey, if you're down with the old school. Those are some of the Short Line MCIs. My goodness, Jay. Wow, that's a lot of buses. Sure are. We're about halfway down the row. And you've still got another row. Yeah, got some of the New York modern ones up top. I got the Abraham Lincoln bus. It's pretty cool. I don't know what that wrap is for. I got the uh, Los Angeles RTS, the polished wheels, which is pretty sick. Greyhound of Mexico with the green stripe, if you want to nerd out. Dash. Shout out to our boy Trevor Logan on that one. <laughs> Academy. Kind of, since the days of those RTSs have really blown up and taken over the bus game in the U.S., for sure. Don't you ride Academy buses when you go to school trips? Um, yeah, I do. Right. Got some of their older ones. Canada's in the house in many different ways. But you got those gray coach buses for sure. Canada coach. A couple other Canadian operators, that's right. Well, you got beautiful buses and trucks in Canada. Yeah. Got that coach USA. I think that's an airport bus. I wonder if it's just for style or if it has a meaning to like put like a cover over the wheel. I think it's style. I don't know if it makes it more aerodynamic. It might, you know, for mileage or something. Got the awesome die cast cruiser. That's pretty cool. Jeff yeah. bus. We're going to step into that in a few. Yeah. Got the Las Vegas RTS. That's pretty sick. Got the Grumman 870s buses that went to New York that just didn't do well. I think a couple of frames cracked or there was a problem with them and they pulled them all off the street. I think that's the only city that had those types of problems. It tells you how those New York City streets treat the buses. What else is over here, Jay? Wow. Just keep on going, huh? Yeah. This is pretty Got sick. Got the Los Angeles Grumman's. I don't know who that rap is for. Van Hool wrapped to look like a train. Possibly. I don't know. Comment down below if you could help us out. Wow, it's a... So it's actually like a real bus. Miami. There's a picture of it on the side. Flexibles. With the ads on the side. It's pretty sick. Pink yeah. Panther. They had a big MC6. They called the Pink Panther. I don't know if they gave the MC9 that nickname, but I had the pleasure of seeing, whoops, those Allstate Pink buses at shows back in the day. Dang, dude. It just goes on and on. Washington, D.C. Metro buses in the house. What else do we got? TTC. Toronto Transit is in the house. We got Canada Continued. Gray Coach is in the house. Wow. I'll meet you there in a second. Let me just finish these buses. I'm, yep. I'm on overload. All right. More Houston Metro. You got your blank grummings for you modelers. You got the demonstrator. I had the pleasure of seeing the two axle demonstrator at bus shows 100 years ago. Not 100, but probably 40. This is crazy. Some of my favorites, Liberty Lines Express Classic. I mean, ultimate for me. My dad worked for Liberty Lines for a few years, so shout out. What else do we got? Mm, you got the New York City Classics. I get it, but I don't love those because it was because of the end of the private operators. Those buses got repainted with that stripe, so mixed, mixed emotions, y'all. What do we got? Peter Pan GMs. Good Lord, got the Grey Goose, which I think is also fine Canadian operator you got that military GM deck and a half that I've seen restored out in the Midwest Whew. got the classic with the transit door Jay it just keeps going on and on buddy I think I just put my finger in front of the lens a couple more RTS's we got Air France over here. I'm coming Voyager more beautiful Canadian operators Canadian Northern they do a good job representing Canada here yeah. oh yeah and my favorites, besides putting my finger in front of the lens, <laughs> the New York Bus Service Classics that I would sit at my job in the Bronx in Parkchester and watch pass by every hour. All right, I'm coming around to your side. All right. Wow, last of the buses. Looks like this is the international stuff. A lot of the European things we don't see, although right as I say that, of course, there's a New York bus. Which one's caught your eye, kiddo? Uh, this one caught my eye. I'm not really too sure what it is. The Beatles ones, definitely. Oh, yeah. It looks like that's a set of four. Very yeah. cool. 
And there's one over here on the end. Man, oh man, what do we got? Some Siku, some other European slash Asian die cast. What do we got hiding down below? Some of the big fish bowls. Wow, that beige one looks like it's made out of a Dodge van. And what did you see over here? The yeah, Phillips. I really don't even know what that is. Super cool European bus. Wow, tandem axles too. I don't know what that is. I'm going to have to look into it. Yeah, very small. Whew. Man, we're not even done yet. Let's see what else is going on. And, of course, the wall of Hot Wheels, huh? Yeah. What's going on back here? The one you love. All right, mainline issue, though. Not the super. Still awesome, dude. Yeah. Well, some interesting things here I never saw before. I've actually got... A couple of Zamax like the ones you bought. 50th anniversary. Wow, nice. We also got a couple of... Um, a couple of treasure hunts from the AKs. Show me. Right over here. I got that police car. Oh, you got that tuned charger. Mm -hmm. You have the TA's logo on it somewhere. Oh, yeah. 2024 treasure hunt, so it's nice to see they're up to date. I got two as well. Yep. I see some other stuff here. Cool. Can you see the symbol? Oh, that's I not a treasure hunt. Cannot. Here's one here. See if you can see the symbol. Show everyone what we're talking about. So these are the special Hot Wheels cars that are treasure hunts. And when you find there's a little special symbol on the card, you can't really see it on this one. So you know you found a TH. Holy moly, dude. You want to search through some of these for a minute? Yeah, that's what I've been doing. Here are some Johnny Lightnings and Auto Worlds that are pretty cool. And some I haven't even seen before. See any cool ones over there? Um, yeah. What's, what's catching your eye? Uh, there's a 1965 Shelby Cobra Daytona. Wow, Hobby Shop Series. And their 60th anniversary uh, green light checker marathon, their checker cab. All right, I'm coming. Very slowly, though. It's <laughs> fine. Wow, and a 65 Shelby, uh, Shelby GT 350R. Wait, 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 wait. How many did you do? Did you know oh, awesome. Mini GT hiding in the group. Yeah. Where was that checker cab? I want to see that. Right over here. I also forgot to include that there are also some, some green lights I haven't seen before. Oh, that's okay. Wow, that's pretty neat. Yeah. But what's really catching my eyes is this mini GT Drift Toyota Supra. That is amazing. Wow, look at all these. Yeah, yeah, I know. Some nice American cars, eh? Yeah. Yeah. He's getting all those, so you can check them out if you want. Mm. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Haha, <laughs> the Monsters Dragula. Grandpa Monster made that car out of a coffin. <laughs> because Herman lost the family car to drag race, but you don't know about that type of important history. <laughs> mail truck-ish. Oh, it's like a custom mail truck. I never saw that before. Pretty sweet. Wow, dually square body, I've never seen that. Where? <laughs> the red. At least I think that's a square body. I can't, I think it's a Dodge. Yeah, it's a Ram. I'm getting too old for this. <laughs> hey, Jay. Yeah. You gotta remember always look up. Oh wow. It's awesome. Here come over here. What's on this side in these cases? We've got some mini GTs. Nice. And Burkina Auto. Models. Oh yeah, Burkina. So these are HO. Those are good for like train sets. They make a BJ and a bear rig. But they don't have it. I don't see it. Mm, wow, okay. some of those cool mini GTs, huh? Yeah. And 
Hokkaido House. That's how you pronounce those? I believe so, yeah. Those are sick. I've got some. I've got some Keep walking. Out. Let's see what else there is. Some other good HO detailed vehicles? Yeah. For your train set? At least that's what it makes me think of. Oh, yeah, yeah you got those. Oh, wow. Premiums down there. Oh, yeah. Haulers. Premium, dude. Yep. Two oh, pack. pretty sick. Yeah. Yeah, you got to look up and down. Yeah. Can't miss a spot in this place. Nope. Some more cool HO rigs. Old corgis in those vintage boxes. That's how they came in the 60s. What else is going on, man? Look at that little tiny HO scale Impala taxi. That's nice. Can't get focused. There you go. I don't even know what brand that is. Tomika. Oh, these are Tomika. Yeah, oh. so that's kind of like a Japanese, a JDM brand. They don't really sell too much in the U.S. And what do we got towards the end? We've got some, oh, some, some cool, corgi some, toys, some, some matchbox. Some modern matchbox. And some patio house. Nice. I believe. Oh, wow. This Gulf Skyline's pretty sick. Which one? This Gulf Skyline. Yep. Wow, and this Pagani. This Pagani's awesome. Man, all kinds of stuff that I've never seen before. Yeah. Here's those Kaido house ones. Yeah. Now, who would put a body kit on a little Volkswagen pickup? Wow. Got those wagons, too. Yeah, you're right. That's wild. All right, let's see what else is going on, dude. All right. Pretty cool looking O scale cars. There's the O scales? Yeah. Wow. This one's catching my eye. Like that. Gold Varg, those are pretty uh pretty detailed, pretty high end. Yeah. Wow. Well, wow, you stumped me. I'm not even sure what that is. It looks like a Plymouth Fury, but it also looks like a Bel Air. Hmm. I know that's a Cadillac. Eldo. Yeah. What else you got going on over here? I believe. Coupe de Ville. Yeah. Nice Edsel wagon. Yeah, I don't even know what this is. I think it's like, oh, this is a Mercedes. Okay. Mercedes, oh, yeah. It's like presidential limo. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Big and body Benz. Thing. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, a General Motors fantasy. I don't know if that's real life or if that was only in pictures. <laughs> BMW, I Man, said it. He sure got some nice caddies. Yeah. What'd you see, an Isetta? Yeah. Sure did. <laughs> it's got a Oh, nice. Hiding back here, some cool old school 510 action. And a charger right above it. Yeah, Quattro's. Man, here, we'll check out the other side. Looks like we have 143 scale on one side and 118 scale on the other side. All right. I'll go down the 143s. Oh, yeah, some 118s on the bottom, too. Oh, wow. What's up? They got, like, a whole formula, formula, formula One racing set. Uh, another checker taxi from John Wick. I don't know about that. Pretty cool. What were you showing me? Oh, yeah, that's pretty sick. Burago. They've made some nice die-cast racing cars for a long time. I remember the Buragos when I was little. Oh, wow, dude. I actually have this. Pretty sweet. Yeah. What? Whoa, Liberty Walk. GTR, wow, that's nice. Here, I'm going to spin around and I'll take a look at the 118 side, okay? All right. Yeah, if you have the space, 118 is nice because you get all that detail. What do you see that's interesting? Oh, they got that Gulf Porsche 917 Le Mans. Yeah. Wow, green light makes 118 scale. I didn't know like that. There's that Hertz. Rent a racer, Shelby. Very cool. The thing that caught my eye is uh, this thing. Yeah, that's real. That's the Elf six wheeled Indy car that ran for a number of years. I don't know if it's Indy or Formula One, but that's real. Wow. That really happened.
did not think that was real. Wow, super cool Mustang. Face car, yeah. It's nice. Wow, 55 Chevy Bel Air convertible. Oh, yeah. Is that one of your favorites here? Yeah. Yeah, they got it nice, too. They got it right. Wow, another green light Dodge. Man, this place really is awesome diecast, huh? Yeah. It's amazing. A couple more 118s before we move on to the next scale. Oh, yeah. Look at that Jeep. It's pretty sick. That's a Jeep? It looks like a Dodge. No, nah, it's the Grand Wagoneer with the fake wood. The fake wood trim. Okay. Monkey Mobile, you don't know about that. <laughs> that was made from a GTO, believe it or not. Wow. Look at this, Jay. Barbie Bel Air. That's pretty sick. Nice gull wings. Cool. Man. These are serious yeah. business, Jay. Yeah, you're amazing. Look at this. Look at this bicentennial cab over. Wow. Awesome. Wow. Truck hauling a truck hauling a truck, buddy. Yeah, that's amazing. Oh, look, DCP by first gear. I don't think I, I, don't think I knew that till just now. Wow. Max Superliner. We're at. Might scare some of the younger audience. <laughs> That's pretty wild. <laughs> oh, look at this one down here, too. Wow. I think that's a Superliner. Um, In the Mack Trucks colors, which is great. I think that was from Bicentennial from 76. They did that. Nice heavy wrecker. Good. Man. I don't think we've seen that truck before, but I believe that's made after a real truck. A real show truck. Wow. Nice. Oh, these are some bigger ones. Yeah. Oh, man. I gotta leave here without that truck. I got no room for it, but boy, oh boy. That's awesome. And the Howard Johnson's one, Florida special. Wow. This is pretty cool. Hold on, I'm coming. Right. What'd you discover? Great road train. Wow. I think that might be like Australia, the way they call the combines when they hook them all together. Yeah. I think that, yeah. One last row of big rigs. Looks like these are the moving vans. Allied. Yeah, Mayflower is pretty sweet. Very cool. Mac livery. I think this is actually modeled after an actual thing. Hold on. Come here, let me show you something, and then I'll come look at that. Yep. But I think I see Bandit. Mm, I think so. Close yeah. to it. It's close, yeah. It's like a modern day version. Wow. Very cool heavy wrecker. Bigfoot hauler. That's when they take Bigfoot apart and put him in the back of that, take the wheels off him. Yeah. Bring him to shows. What were you going to show me down here? This is actually modeled after something that like actually happened. World's lar largest air wheel by Goodyear. Wow. That's pretty, pretty sick. Not really sure what that's even about, dude. Me <laughs> neither. Cougar services or service courses. Man. Let's see what else is going on here. Here's a row of cool police cars in many different sizes. Huh. Let's see what they got. Got the big ones up top. Love those. Yeah, pretty nice. Nice. Blue. LAPD. I almost said Blues Brothers, but that's LAPD. Man, look, Jay, they got that Mustang SSP. Wow. Like 118 scale. Uh, it's got to be my favorite Florida Patrol Mustang SSP. I'm coming. Volvo Police, that's pretty cool. I wonder what country that's from. That's definitely not from the U.S. Yeah, it looks like they got the international ones yeah. grouped together, mostly. What do you want to show me over here, kiddo? I want to show you two things. This, yeah. Florida Patrol, and 
Texas Highway Patrol. Wow. Dodge Ram Charger. Yeah, you know what? That Mustang chasing you down on the highway. <laughs> nope. Yeah, that's pretty cool, too. Wow, that's super cool. That old Oldsmobile, that's a famous Corgi. I don't know if that's a remake or the original. And that old Cadillac ambulance, that was just the coolest toy back in the day. One of them. Wow. You got even smaller ones over here, huh? What are these, first responders? Uh, American Red Cross. Huh, these are green lights that I've never really seen. Yeah. Me neither. I've... Some of these are new to me. Cool. Some international ones, too. Yeah. Man. Oh, wow. Look. Spin around. Oh, wow. What do you got here? Some garbage truck action? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Some undecorated ones. Yeah. Although I've got the exclusive exclusive green light one with the green wheels. Sure do. Oh, those are nice. That's actually really cool. Oh, wow. I don't know what this is. It looks like a charger, I believe. Cool. Richard Petty type. Yeah. Oh, hey. What's going on? Uh, do you mind if I doing, ask, ask you a couple questions? Sure, no well, problem. First, who are we talking to? Uh, well, I'm Jeff from Awesome Diecast and Iconic Replicas. Nice. It's a pleasure yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet you guys. Especially this guy. Yeah. You're a celebrity in the truck world. Or at least you're becoming a celebrity. Yeah. Uh, do you mind if I ask you a couple questions? Sure. What do you, what do you want to know? All right. So what got you into toys and stuff? Well, when I was uh, actually a few years younger than you, uh, my parents bought me some Matchbox and Dinkies. And that was way back before there was video games and all <laughs> that kind of stuff. So you actually have to use your imagination. And I got these cars and trucks and I started playing under our balcony behind our house in the sand and I was captivated by anything with wheels after that. If it had a big diesel engine sound or an air horn, I mean I loved it. And even to this day I'm still a gearhead and I love anything that moves with a motor. How about that? Wow. Yeah. So what like got you into buses? Uh, well that's a great question. Um, I've always kind of been a bus lover for some reason. I have no idea why, but uh, my great uncle was a Greyhound bus driver in 1935, he started. And he would drive uh, an old Mack bus uh, between Montreal and New York City. And he would come back and tell me all sorts of stories about driving, you know, by then he was, it was many years later, but you know, driving in blizzards and the people he met and all the stories of the road. And it kind of seemed really cool. And so I was in college and I got a job out west uh, as a tour bus driver between Calgary and Vancouver in the Canadian Rockies. And for two summers, I was a bus driver. And that pretty much cemented my love for buses to this day. Who, really, who, who'd you drive for? A company called Brewster Greyline, okay. which is a division of Greyhound, but they did tours. And I would take 40 people and I'd go for four or five days all through the Rockies and driving my big MC9. Oh, nice. And uh, yeah, that was uh, really what started it. And, you know, my dad said, look, uh, I know you love buses, but you're not going to be a bus driver. And uh, so here I am today. I make buses instead of driving them. Mm, okay. So if you had to pick, what would be your favorite collectible that you have? Uh, there's a lot, but probably the first one that I got as a kid when I was nine years old is this uh, Wayne School Bus which was made by Dinky, it's number 949, right. uh, the release number. And for whatever reason, I always loved this bus. It always reminded me of the cool kids bus because there was the cool kids school bus and then there was the, like the nerdy school bus. This was the cool kids. So I've always loved this and all these years later, it's still in my collection and it still represents something to me. Wow. So, yeah. You know, I, I have an, uh, an affinity for that one as well because before the days of Corgi diecast, right. that was about as close as you could get to a diecast GM old look. 
that you could kind of roll across oh, yeah, the floor. That's a good point. I mean, You're they're right. really, you You're know, right. You're right. before what Corgi came out in '94. So before then, a die cast quality American scale bus that was, actually looked like a bus that an American one though, right. you know, was right. really hard to come by. So yeah. I'm, I'm with you. That's a winner. Yeah, we got to get you that Wayne school bus emblem from the front. We need to find one of those somewhere for you. Oh, am I missing that? Oh. No, no, no. In real life, though, for oh, the, for the okay, wall. Cool. <laughs> cool, cool. But yeah, you know, as a young man, I, I used my imagination and I built cities and I construction sites and I just I always loved doing that and I always envisioned one day that I'd be driving something big so even today when I see a beautiful Peterbilt or a new Kenworth I mean I'll stop and I'll actually whoa that is that is hot you know like in where we live here there's Ferraris and all sorts of crazy cars that's right eh, those are okay but you see a big truck you know belching black smoke and it's just really cool that that's what really turns me on you know yeah. speaking of we heard awesome diecast has its own its own real bus uh, yep, that's right. Is that something um, we could maybe yep, check out absolutely. if you got the time? I, I, I'd be more than happy to. There's a whole story behind that bus. We're so. ready, dude. All right, well, let's go out and uh, you want to go see a real bus? her up and take sure. her for a spin. How about that? Let's do All it. All right. Oh, boy. This is uh, actually an inmate transport bus. Oh, yep. Okay. Jay, tell them how you knew. Well, you, first off, you've got the uh, big spotlights on here, and you got the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department badge. Uh huh. There's one more thing, though, that makes it very distinct that is not on any other bus. Huh. Hold on. Hold on. I'm up for the challenge. I don't see the bars on the windows. No, they is it that exit in the back? That's what it is. The side exit door? So I'll take you back in time, uh, back in ye old days, they used to call that the Jersey exit. So some GM coaches like 4104s, for example, right. they didn't all have them, but I do believe that was a, a, a New Jersey thing where they had to have them. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know why, why it's here. Maybe they needed a second point of exit. Yeah, something went down. You know, but uh, anyways, yeah, this bus was in the junkyard in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, 2001, but it only had 70,000 miles on it. Wow. And uh, it was it was going to be scrapped to take out the engine transmission because the engine on there is a Series 60, a Detroit Series 60. Yes. It's good for a million miles plus and only had 70 some odd thousand miles. But they were going to scrap the bus because they changed the emissions laws in California and it was no longer compliant. Wow. So, you know, it was an old bus. They figured not spending money on it, let's just get rid of it. So I bought it really cheap during COVID because there was so many used buses on the market. And it took me about a year and a bit uh, to build it out inside and make it into what it is now. Was it drivable? You had to flatbed it from California no, to no, here? No, we, we did it in LA. Okay. I hired somebody and I went out like 16 times, worked with him like for four day weekends. And uh, then I drove it back. I hadn't driven a bus in 30 years. And I drove back for four days, you know, wow. right back to Florida. Uh, welcome back. Yeah, <laughs> so it was fun. All right. Like it in here? Yeah. My new home. So uh, obviously washer dryer. 
Uh, I mean, more important features. You got the MC7 bus bank. Oh, okay. from from the days when you didn't just buy those in the store. I think that MC7 was was bus terminal only. Could be. Yeah, you, you couldn't just uh, you couldn't just cop those. Yeah. Nice. And of course the 102. Yeah. See, when I was a driver, they had just started to get the 102 C3. Yep. And I love that bus. It was like the bus of the future. Yeah. I always wanted one of those, and that's what this bus is. This is the D4000. Yep. Which is essentially the same thing, just a little bit newer version. Yep. And that's why it was this particular bus that I had to get. Wow. But, you know, got a shower, toilet, and then the bedroom. <laughs> I'll leave you your privacy, but I got to zoom in on the Cena Cruiser over the bed. If that doesn't tell you this is a bus guy's bus, yeah. that's the real deal. <laughs> what made you buy this bus? Uh, well, like I always wanted to kind of drive around. I always had the love of buses, and this was my way of kind of, you know, expressing it. Expressing it. That's exactly right. Expressing it that actually being a bus driver, and it's this particular bus style that I always thought was amazing when I was a young man. But that's the bus when it was in service. Wow. With the County of Riverside in Los Angeles. Wow. And that's how I bought it in the junkyard. So you can see it was just waiting to be stripped out and made into razor blades. And I put an end to that and I gave this bus a whole new life. And I know she loves me because she knows now she lives in Florida. It's all great. Yeah, a lot, Sunshine. A lot more comfortable than the previous Oh yeah, city, look, huh? what do you think of that? You think it's a little bit nicer now? <laughs> so it's just kind of cool. And here we are building it, my friend Johnny and I. And it took a better part of a year from when we started to when we finally finished. You know, and then I drove it back from California. And that's what it looks like before I put the wrap on it. Wow. Wow. So I could take the wrap off and it's back to being a white bus. Okay. What do you mainly use this bus for? Uh, traveling to shows. And here and there I'll use it like as an RV and go on trips with my sons uh, and my wife. But um, yeah, mostly it's for, for trips. We'll load up the bays full of buses and you know trucks. And we go to these shows up and down the Eastern Seaboard. So you, you will do like Tennessee this year, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, uh, and a couple other shows. We're going to Boston in a few weeks for a huge train show in Springfield. Wow. So yeah, we really do get a lot of miles. I, I put, uh, since I got this bus, almost 20,000 miles on it, just doing these shows. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. All right, you want to take a spin? Let's do it. Sure. All right. All right. Ready, Jay? Yeah. It's called the Iconic Cruiser or the Awesome Diecast Mobile? It's the Iconic Cruiser. So, I have a uh, 500 horsepower Series 60 Detroit in here. Wow. And this thing flies. I mean, you could get up to 80 miles an hour without blinking an eye. But you only get 8 miles to the gallon. So, yeah. you know, when you fill up a 200 gallon tank, that gas goes pretty fast. Okay, and then you're gonna push down the brake. Yeah, push that down, push it down. Okay. okay, now you're gonna press the D. The D. And you're in drive. Okay, and now you can just kind of... Okay. You know, I'm Jewish, but I'm gonna do the sign of the cross just to be safe. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I'll now, whatever you do, don't drive onto the runway. Oh, no, no. no, no. <laughs> but I'm going to do some donuts. Yeah, do some donuts. Yeah, I'd like to see that. <laughs> Somebody's done them here. Take it easy. Uh, I, I know what I'm doing. Remember, you got 40 passengers here that want to get uh, to their yeah. destination safely. And you got a 40,000 pound vehicle under safely? you right now. Safely? Well, then you should have uh, taken Greyhound. That's, well, I guess that's a good point. Right. Take the bus and leave the driving to us. That's it. Wow, that was really something, huh? Yeah. What do you got to say? Thank you very much for this. Okay, well, that truck kid, Jay. <laughs> What'd you get? He actually gave me a free one of the model buses. Of the Econa Cruiser? Yep. I think that's the only model that you've actually been on in your entire collection. Yeah. Wow. Well, thanks a bunch, well, man. Great to we have we you can't guys. appreciate you. Uh, well, they say keep sunny side up and greasy side down. Yeah, we, 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 good, buddy. <laughs> keep our uh, uh, keep uh, our wheels spinning and our and our parents grinning. <laughs> well, thank you so much. All right, see you guys soon.